Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, as part of Selenium Python, I'm going to show you how to automate radio buttons and checkbox fields. So let's get started. So in Selenium Python, to automate this radio buttons and checkbox fields, we have two commands. One is click command. The other one is is selected command. Okay, this is selected and click commands can be used with both radio buttons and checkbox fields. So we can use click command to select a radio button, whereas we can also use a click command to select a checkbox field and to deselect a checkbox field also. And to check whether these radio buttons or checkbox fields are in selected state or not, we can use is selected command also. Let me practically demonstrate these two commands and show you how to automate these radio buttons and checkbox fields. For that, I'll switch to this PyCharm ID where we have this sample Selenium Python automation code written for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser window. And here we have to open the application URL. So let me open this uh, application URL. Just give me a second. Let me open this Chrome browser and uh, open this application. I'll copy this URL and paste it here. Okay, this is the application I'm taking. So on this particular application page, we have radio buttons, you see, male and female are there. I would like to select male option. Okay, I'll inspect this male, inspect this. When I inspect this male option, this HTML code got uh, highlighted. It has an ID, guys. I'll use this ID as a locator. I'll simply say driver dot, okay, driver dot find element by dot ID, give the ID of the radio button give the ID of the radio button and say, I want to check whether this particular radio button is in selected state or not. Okay. So before selecting this radio button, I want to check whether this radio button is in selected state or not. If it is not selected, I want to select. Otherwise, I don't want to. Okay. If it is already in selected state, I don't want to select. Okay. If it is not in selected state, I want to select. So how to do that? For that, I'll store this, uh, you know, the element. Okay. I'll store this element here. That means uh, mail radio option is equal to like this i'll write now i'll write a statement if this mail radio option dot is selected okay this is selected command i'm using here put a colon here okay if mail radio option dot is selected if it is selected means i don't have to select right simply say pass you don't you're not going to do anything otherwise otherwise write down Mail radio option. Here type down mail radio option dot click you say. Only select this radio option when it is not in selected state. If it's already in selected state, no need to select. That is the logic I have written. This is how we can use e selected and click commands with the radio button, guys. Now here I'll write down time dot sleep. I'll give five seconds. Okay, after that, I'll quit the browser. I'll close the browser. Driver dot switch. Now run the script. You see, it will open the Chrome browser, then maximize the browser window, and we'll open this application URL. Then it will check whether that mail radio button is in selected state or not. If it is not in selected state, then it's going to select. Let's see whether it's selecting. You see, it got selected. That means earlier it was not in selected state, now it selected it. After five seconds, it got closed. This is how we can use is selected and click commands with radio buttons in Selenium Python. Okay. Now, similarly, how to, okay, similarly, now let's scroll down and find out the checkbox fields here. You see, we have this orange checkbox field and blue checkbox field. I want to check whether this orange checkbox field is in selected state or not. If it's already in selected state, okay. I don't want to do anything. Okay. I, I if, if it is not selected, then I want to select. Since it's already used by default, when I load this application page, this orange checkbox field, checkbox field is by default coming as selected state. Okay. So I want to check whether this checkbox field is in selected state or not. If it is in selected state, I don't want to select it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write down um, that is I'd like to write down this is orange, right? Orange, orange, check box field is equal to 
here I inspect this orange checkbox field. And here we have an ID, copy this ID and you know, paste it here. This is the orange checkbox field. I'll write down orange checkbox field dot E selected. If it is in selected state, don't do anything. If it is not in selected state, then select it like this. So by default, the orange checkbox is or checkbox field is already in selected state. So I don't want to do anything. Okay. I would like to keep that in selected state only. Okay. This E selected will return true here and uh, it will simply run this pass statement. It will not go to the else block where you know you are selecting this checkbox field again. Okay. So if this statement got executed, means it will get deselected. If it's already selected, if I click this, what will happen? It will get deselected, guys. Okay. But in this script, I'm making sure that it's not getting deselected. Okay. If the checkbox field is, uh, you know, is not selected state, I'm going to select. If it is already selected, then I'm not going to select, I'm deselect. That's what is the logic. Run the script. It will open the application URL. The Chrome browser, maximize the browser window, open the application URL. By default, if the checkbox field is in selected state, it's not going to do anything. It will keep that uh, checkbox field uh, still in selected state. It's not going to deselect it, okay? So here, normal pass statement got executed. And uh, after that, uh, it got quit the browser, okay? Now I want to do something different. If the Checkbox field is in selected state. I want to deselect guys. Okay. Otherwise, I don't want to do anything. A reverse logic I'm trying to write here. The checkbox field is already in selected state. I want to deselect it. So in this case, the orange checkbox field is by default in selected state. So is selected will return true. Since uh, it is true, you'll go into the block where you will click on that. That means if it is already in selected state, it will get deselected like this. Okay. Now run the script and observe that. Now the blue checkbox field will get deselected, guys. It will open the browser, maximize the browser window, open the application URL in the browser, and observe the checkbox field, guys. You see, orange checkbox field, which was in selected state, got deselected this time. Like this, we can write the logic, guys. Like this, we can use e selected and click comment with the checkbox field, okay? Fine. Now this one, this, uh, blue checkbox field, okay? It has a different ID. I'll copy this and paste it here. I'll write down uh, blue checkbox field, okay? Blue, blue checkbox field dot E selected, blue checkbox field dot click, okay? Blue checkbox field dot E selected, blue checkbox field dot click. So what I'm going to do now is, you know, uh, okay, fine. blue checkbox field dot e selected blue checkbox field dot click. Okay. So now let's see. So in case of blue checkbox field, this will return what? False. Right? E selected will return false. So I'm not doing anything here. Okay. If it is returning false, else block will be executed where uh, you will keep it unselected only. Okay. That's the logic. It, it will work like that. Okay. The checkbox field is not in selected state. Don't select that. In that case, we have tried this logic, guys. Just observe that as a blue checkbox field, field is already in deselect, it's not selected actually. Nothing is going to happen. No selection is going to happen, guys. You see, still it is in non selected state only. After five seconds, it will close the browser. You see, that's the thing. But I want to change the logic a bit. You see, if this blue checkbox field is not selected, if it is, sele uh, if it is selected, don't do anything. But if this Blue checkbox field is not in selected state, then select it. Okay. Then select it. If is selected is returning false, means I'm going to select the blue checkbox field. Now run the script. This time you see, it, as the blue checkbox field is not in selected state, it's going to select. You see, with checkbox field, the click command will work in two ways. If the, if the checkbox field is on, already in selected state, it's going to select. Otherwise, it's going to display. You see, it's selected now because it was not in selected state. Hence, is selected has written false and uh, it, it went to the else block and we have selected it. Okay. Using the using the click command, we can select a checkbox field, deselect the checkbox field. But coming to the radio buttons, you can only select the radio buttons. There is no possibility of deselecting the radio buttons. Okay. We can also do this manual case. You see, I can select deselect. But here, radio buttons, deselection is not happening, right? Deselection is not happening with the radio buttons. That's the thing, guys. So, so hope guys you understood how to use these commands uh, for handling the radio buttons and checkbox fields using Selenium Python automation, e-selected and commands. So that's all for this session.
till the next session thank you bye